it's Ashley. So I'm so excited because this is my first little um, weigh-in and check-in with everyone. And I just wanted to say again, thank you. Woke up this morning and I was so excited because I saw I had more subscribers and more comments. And I'm so pumped, you guys. Knowing that all of you are watching me is making me feel, um, you know, like more encouraged to keep up with this because I want to come and have good updates and not feel like, oh man, I let everybody down. You know what I mean? So I got my little post-it note here and I weighed in this morning. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting much more to be gone, but I'm approaching that time of the month. So I'm thinking that could be part of it. I'm hoping, but if not, it's still good. I'm still happy with what happened. So when I made my I Desperately Need to Lose Weight video, I was 270 pounds. Actually, that next morning, I was 273 pounds, but I'm not going to count that because I think it was just, you know, a fluke thing. But anyways, when I got on the scale this morning, I was like holding my breath. I was so nervous because I knew I had to make this video today. And I was like, please don't let me have gained. Because I was, I mean, I was going at it, but until yesterday, I was still like, ah, you know, kind of slipping. Yesterday, told, told, I'm sorry, the sun's like glaring on my glasses for you guys. And the lighting, I can only really do so much in here with. And the sun's like right in my face. But anyways, I know I had to make this video, so I was really hoping that I would have something positive to say. And I do. Um, I lost four pounds. So I'm now 267, which... Is, you know, it's not a lot, but um, I saw this thing on Tumblr a while back and it was like a big yellow glob and they'd put like scary eyes on it and it said, this is what one pound of fat looks like. And it says, so celebrate every time you lose one of these fuckers. So, I mean, it makes sense because that's four of those globs gone from my body. Like, like everyone keeps telling me, you know, it one pound, it's all take it one pound at a time. Don't think... I need to lose 120 pounds because I do. That's my, well, to get to my ultimate goal weight, I have to lose 120 pounds, but I lost four of them. So we'll keep going. So Thursdays will be my weigh-in day and where I'll talk about goals. So this is my goals. These are my goals for the next week, the following week. Um, I'm going to do, try three goal, three goals, unless there's one that's sticking out to me that I really want to try to accomplish that I have more. Um, but I'm taking it slow from the beginning. Um, one, drink more water. This is huge for me because until all of this, I mostly just drank diet pop and like green tea, which green tea is excellent for me. And I just happen to be lucky that I really like it. It was one of my favorites, even when I didn't care what I was putting in my mouth. So, um, drink more water. Now what I drink right now is like those flavored carbonated waters because I have a hard time drinking water to like make myself drink it until I like it. And you'll see a video, like if you scroll through my videos way, way down, the last time I tried to lose weight and it said why you should drink water. It was like the benefits of drinking water because I was trying to make myself drink water then. Um, but I have a new Camelback water bottle. It's like the kind that you like bite down and you suck on it. <laughs> um, but it's, it's really cool and it's more fun to drink out of and it holds like 20 ounces. It holds a ton. So I'm, my goal is to drink two of those a day. And I am a pop drinker. So this is going to be my incentive for drinking more water. If I drink my two big things of water a day for my water bottle, I will treat myself and at dinner time have... Um, half a can to a can of my Diet Pepsi. So that's how I'm starting out. I will eventually try to ease out of soda entirely, but right now, if I tried to do that, I would not continue with this because I just can't. I take baby steps because, you know, I, I didn't get this way overnight. It took me years to get this big, and it's going to take me a while to get this weight off of me. So I just need to try to you know, ease myself into it and take, be patient, which leads me into my second goal. Be patient and kind to myself. I am my biggest enemy. Anything, any of you little YouTube haters that will eventually come on my channel because I know that's just how YouTube is. I had someone comment on my video where I quit smoking and was like, where I talked about my parents dying and they're like, God must hate you, huh? And I totally didn't reply to it. I completely ignored it. Um, 
because I know there's all those little trolls out there and I see the comments they leave on people's videos and it just disgusts me. So like I know at some point someone's going to come on here and they're going to, you know, oh yeah, you need to lose weight. <laughs> really? I didn't know I was fat. I'm fat? No way. Please. So anyway, <laughs> anything any of those people would say to me, I'm way harder on myself than anything anyone could say to me. So that needs to stop. I need to become my fan. I need to become half as supportive for myself as I am for other people. My hair tie just got all fuzzed out. Um, I need to be there for me the way I am for other people. So I need to be kind to myself, be patient to myself, and encourage myself. When I hear those thoughts like, you're not going to lose that much weight, or you're not going to do this, why are you even trying? You're just going to embarrass yourself, and blah, blah, blah. I want to... Um, yell at that voice inside my head and I want to prove it wrong. Um, I have nothing to prove to anyone except myself. And that, that's really what it's about. So I need to be nicer to myself. So that's a goal. Um, because emotionally is one of my biggest problems with eating. And my third goal, look at like my nails. These are the Jamberry nail shields. I love these things. They're so cool. Um, they stand forever too. Anyway, <laughs> um, only way in on Thursdays. Yes, Ashley, that means do not weigh yourself every day, especially at the end of the day when you know you put on weight. I'm only going to weigh Thursday mornings, not going to weigh any other time of the week, and no matter what the result is, I'm going to be honest after I step on that scale when I make this video and tell you the truth. I am guilty of in the past when I was trying to lose weight, kind of exaggerating my weight loss a little bit because I didn't want people to think I was failing. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, I'm going to be 100% honest. Even if I have to take pictures of the scale, which at this point I really don't think I'm going to. You know, I've, I've watched so many of your videos, and you guys are so brave posting before pictures. And I personally don't. I took them, but I'm not brave enough to share them. I will probably towards the middle to the end of my journey show compare before and afters and stuff. But I don't have the courage to do that right now. And if you guys just... You, you're awesome. You give me um, the strength to feel like I can do this publicly, publicly. This is like my greatest fear, my biggest problems. And I'm sharing like deep, dark secrets through my self-hatred and obesity on camera, which is ridiculous. Because if you guys know me in person, I am so shy. Like, I'm so shy. So, yeah, it's a big deal. Um, yeah. So I'm going to see if I can rig my iPad up here a little bit to where you can see like a full body type of shot. Bear with me here for a second. I'm trying to, there we go. Okay. Oh my God. What am I doing? Okay. So this is me. <laughs> um, as you can see, I hold mostly everything in the middle. I do have very large arms. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna show you and skip this part of the video when I rewatch it because I don't even wanna see it. Um, this isn't totally true though because whenever you see me in jeans, bam! I wear maternity jeans all the time. Look, I can look skinny if I do this, like all the girls on my face. <laughs> no, but I wear maternity jeans all the time. If you see me in jeans, I'm wearing maternity jeans. Because if I don't, I have the huge fluff. So I wear maternity jeans and they kind of scoop me up. But if I pull the maternity jeans down, I'll show you how I actually. I have like a terrible roll here and then like another fluff ball there. And I have like, I can't believe I'm doing this, like crazy flab over here. So I wear maternity jeans just because they make me feel more comfortable, they make me feel more supported. I would really like to get some Spanx, but I think that they're kind of expensive. Sorry, let me rig my iPad back up. I need to get a camera. Um, I would like to get some Spanx, but I feel like they're kind of expensive. So says the girl who spent all that money on Ulta the past two weeks. Uh, that's why. Um, no, but I uh, I like them. Is there 
does it, do any of you guys use like a cheaper brand that's still good that I could order online or something? Um, I don't know. I'm sorry about my crazy hair today. I had to wear it natural. My hair is naturally curly like this. I try to straighten it as much as possible, but I hit the snooze button a few too many times this morning, so I had to just shower and go. Um, but yeah, so I just did the ultimate embarrassing thing. And <laughs> that's my first week weigh in. Yay, four pounds. And <clears throat> those are my goals for this upcoming week. And I'll be back actually in a few minutes. I'm gonna go record the weight loss tag. Um, I'd like if you guys would watch that because it looks like it hits some background on why I got the way I am and you know where I would like to get to. Oh, and just stats so you guys know, I'm 5'2", five, 5'3", five, I haven't been measured in forever. Um, I, when I started, I was 270 pounds. That's my highest weight. Well, my highest weight is actually 275. Um, my lowest weight that I can remember being is 230. Um, my ultimate goal weight is 150 pounds. Now I'm short, so that's still going to be considered obese, but I'm just going to go by how I feel at the time. And if I feel like I'd like to keep going and get smaller than I will, but right now seeing that I have to lose 120 pounds is a big enough span for me. So that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, so let's do this. I'll be back in a few minutes with that and I'll be back next Thursday with another weigh-in and hopefully more pounds gone. So, all right guys, be strong and thank you for being there for me and let me know if you'd like me to see any of your videos in, in particular and just thank you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the week.